colony may need to be formed, and space may be the only option. I propose we go to Mars and collect our resources from the asteroid belt. Mars will be like a base, and everything will go through Mars before going to the asteroid belt or returning to Earth. The base on Mars will not only be just a stop in between, it's a refueling and repair station as well as a fully functioning colony. The facilitator that lives in the colony will be in charge of making sure that the people of the colony are emotionally stable to eliminate any emotion-induced trauma. The base will have a biodome that maintains the perfect temperature for the plants and the humans, as well as protects the humans from UV radiation. The plants will provide the food and the oxygen, the biodome is the shelter, and the water will come from the ice caps on Mars. Inside the biodome, there will be... Okay. There will be lots of plants as well as CO2 to help them breathe, and that means they will exhale oxygen. Only a calculated amount of CO2 will be allowed in for that it can be mutual. The plants can live off what the humans breathe out, and the humans can live off what the plants produce. Garbage won't be a problem because everything will be recyclable or compostable. Liquid waste from humans will be filtered and turned into clean drinking water. Solid waste from humans will be turned into fertilizer for plants or composted and turned into soil. Since everything is plant-based food-wise, the waste should be compostable and will be turned into fertilizer. To collect the resources, the crews will travel in rockets to the asteroid belt. Once the crew arrive, they will begin extracting resources and placing them in the preside in test tubes. To extract the resources, the crew will either have to buy the resources or extract them by turning them into liquid. The liquid can be turned into a solid again with the help of a high-tech dehydrator. Knowing the metals they are looking for, the crew will extract iron, nickel, cobalt, silicon, and possibly oxygen. Once the crew has extracted the resources, they will place them in the provided test tubes and place the test tubes in the boxes. The rockets the expedition are using are solar powered and they travel at supersonic speeds. This will cut down travel time as well as not emit any fossil fuels. This does mean that the rockets will have to stop at the base on Mars and charge for two months, getting 672 hours of charging time, enough charge to get to the asteroid belt and back, plus extra in case anything goes wrong. In conclusion, I believe that Mars would be the best base to have because of the CO2 in the atmosphere and its close location to the asteroid belt. These are asteroids are the key to recovering precious metals that years of destroying the environment have caused us to lose. These metals will help us continue with progression and grow to a stronger, better community. And this is why I truly believe the colony should settle on Mars. Thank you.